What's up guys, hope you're all having a great day today. I've got a friend of mine in the shop for the next couple days and he's gonna help me out with some recording. So I'm gonna try something different with these quick little vlog update videos. Uh, speaking of update, I'm working on this sofa table. I'm taking my sweet time on it, but um, I should be completing it today or tomorrow. And this is an ambrosia maple base. It's upside down, obviously. And the top is over here. It's gonna be a solid mahogany top. And then the trim, which will be on this layer right here, again, this is upside down, is going to be a thin piece of mahogany, very similar to my uh, dining table. And I'm, I'm kind of at a standstill with it because I'm debating on adding some more inlays. I just think that uh, I probably won't do that because the grain is kind of crazy with this and there's just too much stuff going on. So anyway, this will be completed in the next day or two. Oh, also this is gonna have some hidden storage in it, uh, which should be fun. Uh, but in the effort of being productive this morning in the next little bit, I'm going to clean saw blades, something that I haven't done in a long time, just a little bit of maintenance. Now, on my website, I used to, on my website, I had a video or an article showing how I used to clean my saw blades with a five gallon bucket and just fill the five gallon bucket maybe this much on the bottom with mineral spirits and then put a piece of wood on the bottom of it to elevate a 10 inch saw blade so it's not you know, suctioned to the bottom. And if I used the dado stack, then I would just take my normal saw blade and set it in that bucket. And when I take it out, clean it kind of thing. But uh, that just got a little bit cumbersome and less convenient. So uh, about a year or two ago, I found this stuff. It's CMT Orange Tools Formula 2050, a uh, really good cleaner. And it works really well. So I'm gonna use this to clean all of my blades this morning. All right, so I've got my table saw blade. Oh, the miter saw blade, which did not want to come off, by the way and my dado stack, which needs a cleaning bed. And for whatever it's worth, by the way, this is a Forest Woodworker 2 uh, 40 tooth blade for my table saw. This is a Irwin Marples, um, I forget how many teeth it is, like a hundred teeth cross cutting blade for the circular saw, or the, the I'm sorry, the, the miter saw. And I've also used the saw stop titanium blades in my table saw, and I can't tell the difference between the three. The more expensive Forest Woodworker, the Saw Stop Titanium Series, or the Irwin Marples. Those are the three different brands that I've used. All right, so this stuff, all you gotta do is spray it on there and let it soak. And I'm not using uh, paper for a, you know, something to, to keep the crap off my uh, workbench. I'm using this piece of plywood because uh, paper will just disintegrate. I've already tried that before. And just becomes a mess. And I'll flip them all. Just from the... Uh, See how much that's cleaning already? Just from spraying it, not scrubbing it at all, it's already starting to loosen up. This is some really good stuff. Let's see. This stuff is uh, also uh, non-toxic, non-flammable, and biodegradable, so you don't have to worry about wearing gloves or anything. That's one of the other reasons why I stopped using mineral spirits. It's, it's, just, it's just another harsh chemical I don't want to be around, you know? Yeah, this one is really dirty. See all this? I mean, it's caked down to the side of every single tooth. And the dirtier the blade, the poorer the performance, obviously. Most of the time when people think that their blades are dull, I guarantee it, it's probably a matter of it just being dirty and you need to clean it more than, more than you need it sharpened. But a little brass brush. Bubbles. <laughs> On these larger teeth uh, dado blades, the sides clean up really well, but there's still some crap on the, the cutting face because there's so much surface area. So for these, I still want to scrub the face of the tooth. 
and I lost my audio right here, but basically what I was saying is for this particular product, you don't rinse it off. You just wipe it off because the product itself is a rust inhibitor and a corrosion uh, prevention. So don't rinse it off, just wipe it off. So like I said, if your blades aren't cutting that well, most likely they're dirty and not dull. Uh, these cleaned up really, really well. And it's, it's such an easy thing to do that, well, it's, it's like any other maintenance thing. You should do it more often, but we all procrastinate. All right, that's it for this one. Just a quick little uh, update. I'm going to get this cleaned up and start in on this project, and Jeremy's going to edit this video. So you guys take care, and we'll catch you in the next one.